battlefield is in the mind. Yeah, of course it is. And the funniest thing about fights is the mind. Yeah. A lot of spiritual fight in the mind. They need to go to church and get clean in their mind by the blood of Jesus. Yes. The blood cleans the mind. Yeah. And that they don't know that. No, no, they don't. It's a shame. But but I, I tell you, you know what? I feel I accomplished something here. Three yeah, years ago. nice. Now there's a gentleman in here. Remember I was telling you he was drinking like two hundred and fifty dollars a weekend? Wow. He's got clear eyes today. He said that last week he started thinking about it. He's cut down. He's still drinking. Yeah. But what about the little babies? Walk, yes. Then they brought. Yes. So, hey, how you doing? Little by little yeah, but so he looks better, so I feel like I accomplished yeah. something. Even one person is better than nothing, right? That's right. Little by little That's right. Yeah. But the thing is people don't want wisdom. No, you're right. They get drunk. Yeah, yeah. They be drunk. See, this is God's love. Yeah, you're that's God. Yeah. That's just the heart of Breaking bread. Yeah. That's not good. He gives you what else? You say nothing. Hi. Yeah. He loves you. Yeah, exactly. And you can't break something. You can't bang him. You can't glorify him. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You're lying. You're lying. I know. People, they, uh, um, people are people. people. But, you're, but you're, you're a soldier in the war. The war of uh, spreading the news. And, and you just keep going. Yeah. Because they, they don't want to say this. Yeah. So it's God. You gotta no. keep God. God, you're wrong. Yes. Not man enough. Not fast enough. God. Yeah. He'll let you breathe. Let you talk. Let yeah. you walk. I know. I he can walk you because he let you walk. You're not yeah. in the hospital because he let you. Him is in control of your life. I just. But when your mind is not. I know. I just uh, yesterday. Uh, uh, I, I was on Channel 11 yesterday. Nice. Yes. And matter of fact, I said yesterday was. When you breathe right now, somewhere in the world, there's somebody taking their last breath. Every time you blink, somebody's closing their eyes for the last time. So why not praise God every day for that? So. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for bread. Thank yeah. you for getting bread. I know. Anything. Anything about giving you nothing. Divine is nothing. Yeah. But you just, you just keep pushing it, pushing it. Oh, yeah, pushing. I want to let them know yeah. the truth. And I'm going to be here Thanksgiving. All right. All right? I'm going to try to walk around and see if I can catch some people. Okay. All right. Talk to you in a little bit. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Can I give you one of these? Um, I'm an addiction recovery coach. I help people that have drug and alcohol addiction. And for free, I'll coach you. Um, if you know anybody. I sure will get it. Yeah. Them. Here's my business card. And because of the uh, church, yeah, I'm doing it for free. But if you know anybody that has any drug or even if you know people that are overdose or something, I'm on TV. Okay. So uh, if you ever want to tell your story, I'm on Channel 11. I'm also on YouTube, 150 videos. Okay. You can tell your story. You don't have to give your name. You don't even have to go on camera. Okay. Okay? All right. All right thanks. Bye-bye. You guys heard the pastor was talking, and it is all about giving to the people, helping people. That's what it really comes down to. So, folks, there's not many people out here on the road today, but I'm going to try my best to spread the news. Good morning. Can I give you one of these, please? I'm an addiction recovery coach. I'm trying to clean the neighborhood up with drugs and alcohol. And for free, that I'm trying to coach people on how to do it and how to live with it. If you know anyone, uh, I'm also on TV and on YouTube. We do videos. Anytime that you have a story, if you know somebody and they can possibly overdose, you just call me. You don't have to give your name or your face. It's all just to try to help people, okay? Thanks. Hey, how you doing? Can I give you one of these? Do you drink alcohol or do drugs? Um, no. no. If you know anybody, call. If you know anybody that drinks too much or does too much this, call me. For free, I help. And you can, I can put you on my on a camera on TV and talk about it. If you know people that drink too much or do too much alcohol, okay? Uh, but just call that number. It's help. Okay. Okay? okay thank, thank you. you. Well, 
Well, the people are different here this morning. But uh, let's see if we can catch some people at this end. Have a good day, guys. Beautiful, crispy day. Well, I see some people down there by the church. So let's see if we can talk to them. Let's see what's going on. Oh, I'm like banging against the phone here. It's a very cold day out today. Sunday. Just heard yesterday, only 11 more Fridays till Christmas. Unbelievable. Hey, how you doing? Were you able to hand those things out for me? What remember, handy? remember the alcohol addiction and drug addiction? Oh, it? yes. I stopped. I dropped some off at yes, USA great, gas great. station. Handy pin on track. And, uh... Perfect. Thank you. Hopefully, uh, somebody read it. Do you want a couple more? I'll give you one of my cards. Sure. sure. It's all for free. And uh, whoever has an addiction, they can end up on TV too. Because I'm on Channel 11 and 103. Yeah, I hate paparazzi. Yeah, well, listen, you don't have to give your face or your name. It's just uh, you can go on audio. But you know anybody, okay? Thanks a lot. No problem. Do you need me to give out more hands? Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, because I'm going to be going to my friend's house. I can drop some more of the trash again. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. Thanks. How you doing? Can I just give you a flyer? Thank you. I'm trying to help clean up the streets with alcohol and drugs here, and I'm an addiction recovery coach. And what I'm trying to do is uh, pro bono. It's try to help the neighborhood. If you know anybody who has any addictions whatsoever, I have a method to, to beat it without even having to go to AA. I'm on channel 11. Uh, I'm also, uh, we have 150 one-hour videos on YouTube, and uh, I'm always looking for people that either want to talk about their own addictions or anything. You don't have to give your name or your face. You just kind of put a dummy picture up, and you just talk about it if you're ever interested. Because your story is... Who, who I'd like to get, to get the help, yeah. My best friend's brother, and he rode these streets with heroin addict. Oh, well, definitely. Uh, one way to start, if he's too shy to even call me, is if you look down here, you see these two web pages? Okay. He can go on there, and all my videos are on there, and there are methods on there, and uh, there are different doctors. Uh, these are all people that are willing to help for nothing. And especially, this used to be my uh, stopping ground years ago. I used to drink 10 to 15 shots of vodka, and then I tried going to AA, and AA just didn't work for me. I need to be more actively involved. I'm not sure if you ever had to go to AA. For yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, and it, to me, it was like you just sit in a circle, kind of. And it's the same old, yeah, and you know what? It wasn't enough. I had to get more involved, and I got in contact with a few people. Next thing I knew, I got a, a director and a producer that contacted me, and we started creating videos on how to help people. That's where I am. So I figured by coming into my old neighborhood is the best place because I know where people are hiding and drinking because I used to do it. I lived on Pagoda, and from this liquor shop to Pagoda, I would drink 10 to 15 shots and just literally throw the bottles into the bushes and stuff because I really thought my wife or nobody would notice, but people know when you're drunk. Believe me, people oh, yeah. So, but I'm not knocking AA, but my method really works, and it's for nothing. It's just, you know... This is how I help myself, is by helping other people. It works. Okay. Karma, you know. So, if you can, I'd appreciate it, okay? Absolutely. 
Nice meeting you, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Bye bye. Hey guys, can I give you a pamphlet? A little flyer? Probably not so much for either one of you guys, but if you know anybody has any alcohol or drug problems, have them call me. Uh, I give out free help uh, I'm trying to clean the streets up here. There's a lot of alcohol and a lot of drugs going on. This used to be my stopping ground. I live in the Hamptons now, but I used to drink like you wouldn't believe here. And I found a new method other than AA and how to help people. And that's pretty much just doing what I'm doing. Is if you don't talk to people about drugs and alcohol, people will listen because they see a real face and a real person behind it. AA is out of a book. You guys go to school, right? Well, how much do you learn out of a book than, than you learn by doing constantly? And by going out, I'll give you one of my cards. And I'm doing this for free. So it's nothing to gain other than self-satisfaction for me to help people, okay? So spread the word for me, all right? Thanks, guys. Thank you, and have a great day. Oh, uh, well... They really do. They really do, especially for the younger people, because people like my age were we're, we're already halfway over the hill. <laughs> but it's you young people, so. But I appreciate you guys helping. Thanks. Bye bye. You too. Can I give you one of these? Hi, I'm trying to help clean up the streets from drugs and alcohol in the neighborhood. I'm a, an addiction recovery coach. If you know anybody that has any issues, if you can just have them call me. Okay. You don't have anybody, or did you? Okay. Well, here. No, I will. Oh, you don't want to call me? Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, what street? Yeah. Yeah. Wellwood? Okay. I'm, I'm a coach. I'm not here, I'm not here to get... Uh, I, I used to be an alcoholic. I'm here to try to help people. I'm not trying to hurt people. Around there? Yeah. Okay. Well, that... that I know it's terrible. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to keep this? Okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, that's okay. Thank you. Here I go down this way. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Recovery coach. Anybody that has alcohol? Uh, I'm or a drug? CA post. Oh, okay. I haven't, I haven't drank since January 17th. Well, good for you. If you know anyone that you think it has addiction issues for free, I'm doing pro bono work here in Master Beach. Okay. Have them call me. Uh, I have a method how to beat addiction and live with it without even having to go to ADA. CA post for uh, January 17th. Uh, this year? Yeah. And, and how long have you been clean now? January 17th. Wow. <laughs> Do you miss it? No. No, but it, isn't it nice to wake up in the morning and not have those blackouts, the high hangovers? Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, I but don't I think there ain't nothing I miss about it. No, I, you know, I could go into a liquor shop and I, I still, like, have those thoughts. But I know by my other half of me, which is the God side of me, says no, but. Yeah, well, you know what? The thoughts you're always going to have. Yeah, the cravings. They, they weren't all bad times. No, they weren't. No, so right. They weren't all bad. From what I, I remember. That, that I know if I was to have one, that's I'm it. Back right up where I, I used to do 15 shots of vodka a day from I there to I'm Pagoda. Long, and I did 32 shots in two hours. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you must have been just as bad as me, if not worse. Well, look, here's the good thing you're walking, you're still alive. Yeah. 
Good for you. Thanks. Spread the word. Oh, that's your mom, Pat. My mom and your mom are good friends. Yep. Pat, there's your son. Okay, let's see. That was Pat's son. You guys probably heard Pat many a times. Sorry about the noise, but we have a bus in the background. I am going to turn around. Let me see if I can. Morning, guys. Can I leave a couple of these here for you, okay. customers, about addiction, how we can help with any drug alcohol? Clean the streets up, all right? Thanks a lot. There he is. Huh? Yes. Listen, little bit is better than too much. You know, babies have to crawl before they can run. So you do a little bit, and then maybe eventually. Maybe. Yes. One time you can do. Maybe now it's only a hundred dollars a weekend instead of two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but at least you're doing better, and you look better. When I saw you that first time, your eyes were red. Today, you look better. That's right. And you know that there's nothing wrong with drinking a little bit as long as you can control it. See, I, if I have a little bit, I have to drink everything. I have no control, so I don't drink nothing. But you might have control. That's okay then. That's right. So you enjoy yourself. And you're famous because uh, remember I taped it and I put on audio and people, they don't know your name, they don't know who you are, but people hear it and they learn from it. Enjoy. How are you doing? How are you? Good. Yeah, I'm going to give you one. Oh, thank you. I'm a recovery coach for addiction. I'm trying to clean the streets up for alcohol and drugs. If you know anybody, by all means, give me a call. It's all for free. Uh, yeah, that's right. It's all for free, all right? Thanks. I'm going to get a soda. Busy, busy day today. Yeah, I've had like six interviews. Yeah, that was Pat's son. He used to do 32 shot, 22 shots in two hours. Yeah. At this bar, when that bar was on, 22 shots in two hours. That's how bad he's been sober since January. And you remember, you remember my friend that drinks two hundred dollars a weekend? Look at how clean he looks today. He said he's only drinking a little since he met me. Yeah, it's working. Have you seen an increase also in the neighborhood of drugs and alcohol? Because we're trying to clean it up. I've noticed it in the last couple of years. I used to be one of them. I used to walk from the liquor shop to my home before I moved on Pagoda and drink 15 shots of vodka a day. So I know. That's why I come back to the stopping ground. But we're trying to clean it up, but it's hard. People, you know, we've been there, right? We know until you're ready. So, Pat, this is your son. Good for, good for him. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do look alike. Yes. And you're a couple years older than him. He's 54. And when I look at him, he, 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 one year. I'm he, be 52 this month. he looks like he's dead. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. God. That's, that, that's good. <laughs> oh, yes. That's good. Oh, yes. I was telling him, God bless you and my mother are friends for many years. Yes. Already. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. But at the same age, too. She's yeah. 75. You're... I'm 74. 74. I'll be 75 soon. She'll be 75 this November 15th. Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh, so... Yeah. So, I gotta wait till March. Ah, uh, wow. Well, you're, you're a youngster still. <laughs> My aunt who lives in our house on Pagoda, she's gonna be 91. She's still living. 91. Uh, oh, don't say that. Uh, well, you know, since I changed myself with the alcohol, I think I'm gonna be around a lot longer. He don't drink no more. I know, he was telling me. Yeah, but you know what? Baby steps. Everything is, in, you know. A, it, yeah, because if you get rid of too much, that's how you fall back into it. Yeah. you got to do a little bit at a time. Hi, how you are know you? anybody's getting rid of a bike? He has to go to work tomorrow and he needs to fight. Uh, did you 
get rid of one? I did, and it's gone already. Yeah, I went to pack a gig. He just sold three of them. Oh. Did you ask him, don't, aren't you friends with the thrift shop guy? I, I already asked him. Uh, I don't have any. Oh, okay. There he is. Hey. He asked Paul. My Paul is cold. Yeah, I wish I had a bike for you. I really don't. Hey, how you doing, Cookie? How you doing? Good. Back on the streets? Yeah, I'm still doing my talking to people, so. Yeah. Since I saw you last time, I came up with a new fly. I'll give it to you. This one says it all. You have a fork in the road. Either addiction or recovery. I'm going to be leaving in about a half an hour. You want to speak to me in a couple minutes? All right. All right. Yeah, you're welcome. And you, you know, I got a lot of feedback on that audio because it went, it went live. Not live, but I put it on with you and six other people. But a lot of people said they're real people with real stories. And nobody knows who There's no face. There's no face. There's no, no, no address, no nothing. But it's your story that helps. So thank you so much. Where do you have to go? I gotta go rip with the hot dog. Oh, wow. So I can't buy something that's like real. How about, he doesn't have any bikes? No. Well, I want to test people. I want to see that bad. Yeah, the bicycle store guy will be open tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll be at work tomorrow if I get, yeah. if I get a bike. Wow. The only only other place to look would be like Craigslist. Yeah, that's what I should have done. That's what my boy suggested. Where is that? I, I I have my tablet here that has online. I can you can use it while I'm walking the streets. Do you want to look? Uh, yeah. You want, let me go get it. You're welcome. Hold that one second. That's Pat Sun. Okay, hold on. Yeah, let me get it. Go to shade, and I'll get it online for you. That's, I mean, a program that's free on there, people giving stuff away, and then, or you can just go directly and buy. But I would look at the free section first. I'll be up in a second. Well, I have what I used to be an alcoholic. Okay. I still am, but now I've learned to live with it. Okay. okay. Uh, but I used to go to AA, and I felt it did work. So I came up with my okay. own method, which is hands-on. Uh -huh. If you go out and you witness it, it's like being a pastor. Okay. You believe you nurture through God by helping others, and that's what my program is. In other words, I provide you videos. I provide methods on how to beat alcohol and drug addiction. Okay. Uh, but it, all it is is mind over matter. That's all it yeah. is. But do you do a? Uh, do you have a housing? No. Not right now. No. Let me get one of your. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I run into a lot if, of people. If you go on either one of my websites, okay. you'll see everything that we're doing. Here's some help cards. Okay. And they can call me. And for the pastor, I said, well, I'm here the next ten weeks. Okay. For anyone that's related to the church or even people walking around, I'm gonna do it at no charge. Okay. Then I do a program. 
uh, uh, recovering Christ meetings on Monday. Oh, okay. Four thirty here. Oh, do you? Yeah, so would you like me to come and speak one time? Yeah, I would. I gotta go pick up somebody right now. Yeah, but I want to get back with you. I want to call me because I can you. also bring uh, a video that we can put on your TV. They can all watch it. Okay, so that'd be the all best. Right. Okay, check check it out. Okay. I'm just going to walk around, okay? Hello. Can I get, I don't know if I gave you one of these last week already. It's a, uh, I'm trying to clean up the streets of drugs and alcohol. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm an addiction recovery coach at no charge. I'm trying to help people meet their addiction, work with it. It's an alternative to AA. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, so give that to him, and I really appreciate it, and oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, I'm on channel 11, and we have uh, over 150 uh, episodes already. We do interviews. You don't have to go on camera. You can just tell your story. So anytime you want, just call me. Thanks. Hi, how you doing? Can I give you a flyer, please? Sure. I'm an addiction recovery coach for no charge. I'm trying to clean up the streets here, okay. help people with uh, drug and alcohol addiction. So if you know anyone, including yourself, you get in contact with me. Okay. Thanks. How you doing with that? Any luck? Okay, let me try to do something here for you. Uh, let's see. Hey, you know what? You get a bike. A 10 speed bike. Oh, how about a mountain bike? Mountain bike will work. Yeah, but mountain bikes take too much energy. I gotta go from Brentwood to Fuck Wolf. There's no buses, huh? It's not that early. I'm checking Craigslist for you, but. Okay, you doing anything today? Yeah, I'm gonna see if my dogs, my wash, I'm gonna put my clothes. Oh, Tell me if I see you. Watch. Just wow. pulled out. Side swiping. So I told you, right? Yeah. You don't think a mountain bike Did 
Can I give you one of these, Randy? Maybe last week. I'm an addiction recovery coach. I uh, pro bono every Sunday. I come down here for an hour. Anyone that you know that might have addiction issues with drugs or alcohol, I'm trying to help clean the streets, they can call me. And I'll give them a couple hours free coaching. And uh, we try to do it through Channel 11. And, uh, maybe, maybe you should talk to my sister. You who? Give her the phone number. There's a website. If she goes on there, she'll get a lot of educational tools that I, every day I do an hour show. Every day. And she thinks she's doing drugs. Doing drugs. What is she doing? Drugs? Yeah. Yeah. Smoking drugs. And how is she afforded? Does she have ways? I mean, because one of my shows she was about. A boyfriend all I was time. just going to say, one of my shows <laughs> was about stealing. Just to, uh, to well, she provide takes her. her boyfriend's credit cards. She'll go to PC Riches, buy all this electronic shit, sell it to her drug dealers. Were you a Marine? Yeah. Oh. Reminds me, because I, I used to wear that hat. I used to be a Marine. But, but uh... Oh, good, good, good. But I... Yeah, my oldest son wants to go in. Let him. Uh, it's funny, because one of my shows was just what you just said. People will do whatever it takes. They'll yeah. rob you blind. Well, she robbed me the other day. Did she? Yeah. Try to I get her to see... my bed and I had money there, a couple of dollars. It was gone. It was gone. It's not the first time she's done it. To me. Yeah, yeah. But she can tell. She can tell. But you know what? You can sit there and lecture people all you want unless they're willing to get the help. It's never going to happen. I know. I used to be not the only one. People usually say that when they feel bad. When they feel bad. And then the next day, they want their pill again. I used to go walk from that, thr uh, that liquor shop to my house on Pagoda before we were and do 15 shots. Just in the one walk. Well, down here, you got a lot of your goodies. Yeah, I know. I figure, I, since then, my wife and I, we moved to the Hamptons, but I come down here every Sunday to try to help you clean up the streets. But I can only do what people allow me to do. That's right. But let your let her know to look at my website or stuff and call me, okay? Thanks. Hey, guys. Can I give you one of these? I'm an addiction recovery coach. People doing drugs and alcohol. I got 15 years old. Oh, good for you. Through AA. AA. Through AA. I went through Beanie Chops. Oh, good for you. Well, if you know anyone, let me know. Uh, I do interviews for Channel 11, and uh, it's all for free. I don't charge anybody to, to try to help them. It's an alternative to AA, and it's, uh, it's really all comes down to is just having a right action plan on how to be your addiction on those society. But I appreciate it. If you have any stories, call me. You don't have to go on camera. What we'll do is just do an audio, and you'll be on TV then, just with your story. Because your story means something to someone out there. So the 13th is 15 years. Good for you. Good for you. Keep it going like that, right? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Wow, 15 years sober. Imagine that. That is really unbelievable, actually, when you think about it, folks. Can you imagine 15 years? And here he is on the church line getting bread. It's all what it is. Well, it looks like it's pretty much coming to the end because the uh, people are going into the church now. But I'm sure we got some real stories from real people today. And those those stories are the stories that count. It's I can sit in front of a camera and talk all I want, folks. But the stories is what counts. So I'm going to head back. And we're going to call it a day today. But know this, folks. Every Sunday, Mastic Beach, Neighborhood Road, between 11 and 12, I will be out here walking the streets that I used to utilize as my drinking grounds to, to provide people with the help that they so desperately need. Maybe they don't want, but they need. And of those people, if they could just open their hearts and open their minds, I will be here to help them. I'll be here next Sunday again. Mastic Beach, New York, Neighborhood Road. And I will continue testifying that there is life without alcohol. There is life without drugs. And if you include your God, there's life with you. Without the drugs and alcohol, there's a perfect life for you. And you'll see many things happen. Anyway, let's cut this off then. <laughs>